Hey, Simon. Yeah, dude? I want to turn on the video game. What the? No, I'm busy right now. You know, if you don't share, I'm just going to tell mom and dad that you hit me. You know they're not going to believe you, right? Mom! Simon! Why? Just why? What's all the commotion in here? Mommy, I was playing video games, but Simon didn't like that, and he hit me. <laughs> okay, look, what really happened was- Don't hit little Jimmy! Wait, let me explain. You're grounded! What? Yes, you shouldn't be hitting little Jimmy at all. You didn't even hear me out. Why are you taking a side all of a sudden? Because he's only a baby. He's eight. He can do no wrong. He literally stole your credit card info the other day. What are you talking about? You know what? I'm getting your father. Honey. Is a quiet house too much to ask for these days? Simon hit our little Jimmy. Do you really think dad's gonna believe you? You hit my favorite son? Well, that hurt. Not as much as this belt. Come here. Go. Oh, what the? Simon. I heard there's a party going on tonight. Yeah, I was gonna go tonight, actually, if that's okay. But don't you have a test the next day? I mean, yeah, but it's also really easy, so I don't even need to- Nope, you're not going tonight. You're gonna stay here and study instead. Did you not hear me? I said it was easy. I don't even want to argue. I'm just gonna get your father. Honey, if only I could find my passport. What do you want? Our son wants to go to a party tonight. Okay, so? But he also has a test the next day. I'm telling you, it's easy. I'm gonna be fine. Wait, so there's a party tonight, but you also have a test the next day? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I actually got to agree with your mom on this one. See, I told- What? You're not gonna go party if you have a test tomorrow? Are you crazy? Wait, so you're taking her side? Um, yeah, it's common sense. I feel betrayed. I'm too tired for this, honey. You deal with him. Wait, hold on. You gotta rethink this. You can't just let- Go hit the books. Mom. Now! <laughs> I guess peace was never an option. What do you want? Can you explain why the dishes aren't done? Because I was busy doing all my other chores. Um, that sounds like an excuse to me. I'm literally doing my job. Well, clearly you're not doing it well enough. Okay, but you don't have to yell at me for it. Simon, I'm your mother. I can yell at you as much as I want and nobody can stop me. Why do you- Are you sure about that? What are you doing? I think I know one person who could stop you from yelling at me. No, Grandma! Simon, you piece of- Why are you yelling at my grandson? Uh, Mom? Hi, Grandma. Are you yelling at my grandson? Yes, but he didn't do the dishes like I asked him. But he did all of his other chores. If you ask me, I think he deserves a break. What? Yay. Simon, do you want me to get the belt? Do you want me to get the belt? What the- Now apologize. Huh? Do it! <sighs> Sorry, son. Oh, it's okay, Mom. Simon! Get off your butt and do your chores. Mom, I'm tired. Can I do them in like five minutes? Ugh, you're so lazy. Why can't you be like the neighbor's kid instead? What? If you were more like the neighbor's kid, stuff would actually get done. Okay, before I explode, you understand that it doesn't work like that, right? What? If you want me to be like someone, you have to raise me to be like that first. Excuse me, why are you giving me attitude? Because you're comparing me to other people. Like, that's not very cash money of you. But I'm expecting you to do your part. You can't birth me and expect me to solve all the world's problems like that. But why can't you be like the neighbor's kid more? You know the neighbor's kid is in prison, right? He is? Yeah. Also, oh, that's why he moved out of his parents' house. You don't say. Stop crying. <laughs> okay. Why would I say sorry to him again? Okay, give me your phone. What? Give me your phone. I'm calling CPS. Happy birthday, Simon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yo, Simon. congrats. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys, so much. I really appreciate it. Happy birthday, Simon. Here's your card. Thanks, Grandma. There's a hundred bucks in that card, by the way. What the? Grandma, you're the best. Don't just oh Grandma got her hundred bucks. No, she's birthday. cool. She's cool. Oh, like congratulations cool. on here. Let me just. Huh? Let me just take this, okay? What, the, what are you doing with my money? I'm just putting it in a safe place for you so you don't lose it, okay? Uh, no, I'm not that dumb. I know you're gonna spend that for yourself. Simon, it's not a big deal. You can get it later, okay? Nah! Give it back. I need that money to pay for college. Simon, in today's economy, a hundred bucks isn't even enough for gas, okay? Have you been doing this with all my birthday money? Simon, of course not. Why would I- Honey, why is there a box in our room labeled Simon's birthday money? What? Yeah, it's got like five grand in it. <laughs> Give that back. No, give him the money back. You no, that's his. That's that belongs to him. him. <laughs> Mommy, can you help me with my homework? Of course, sweetie. What are you working on? I'm working on math. Okay, let me see. Billy has ten apples and he eats four. How many apples does he have now? Uh. Two hours later. Simon! Billy has ten apples and he eats four. How many apples does he have now? <laughs> I Simon, I swear. What is ten minus four? <laughs> Simon, look at me. Answer the question, it is not hard. What is 10 minus four? Three. Idiot! I'm How do you not know the answer, answer to this? You're going to Kuma on this summer, again.
salmon. It's your turn to do the dishes. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't understand why we need to have this conversation. It is so disrespectful that you, you know, can't maybe I'd even... actually do stuff if you weren't on my case all the time. Excuse me? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Wait, I, just, I just need to put these on real quick. Wait, why are you putting your glasses on? Oh, I just want to see who you think you're talking to. Look, I'm sorry. That didn't mean to come out of my mouth. You have no right to talk to me like that. I am your mother. Okay, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Excuse me? Look, I already said I was sorry, okay? You know, honey. Oh my God, what happened? Our son talked back to me. I already apologized. What's the big deal? You know apologies don't work with her, right? What? Yeah, I'm not getting involved. Come here, Simon. Let's have a talk. Mop, mop. Simon! Why are you yelling? What have I done? I want you to go do the dishes right now. Mom, I'll do them later. Can I just- Are you giving me disrespect? What the- No! How was that- I don't even want to argue. You're gonna get the belt right now. Whoa, 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 chill. I'm sorry, okay? Trust me, Simon. This hurts me more than it hurts you. No, seriously- Wait, what? You heard me. I said this is gonna hurt- Oh, I heard you. Um- how does that work? Excuse me? How is this gonna hurt you if you're the one with the belt? Because if I hit you, I'm gonna feel pain on the inside. And if you hit me, I'm gonna feel pain on the outside. Believe me, Simon, this is for your own good. No, it's not. You think I wanna hit my son? I'm gonna say yes, cause you wanna hit me over the dishes. You know what? I'm getting your father, honey. I gotta start listening to the voices in my head. What do you want? Our son is being disrespectful. She's saying that hitting me with the belt is gonna hurt her more than me. Yeah, that's definitely not true. What? Yeah, I mean, you're literally choosing to hit him. I don't understand how this is gonna hurt you. You know what? You do it. I'm not dealing with this anymore. What did you even do? Simon! Hi, Mom. It's been a while. You need to clean this room right now. Mom, I just got home. Can I just wait for a little bit? Uh, it's the lazy son for me. Oh no. Oh my God, where did you learn that? Well, in order to keep up with the young people, I had to yassify my language. You are too old to be sounding that illiterate. Simon, I'm not that old. You're ancient. You're just mad because I'm becoming a girl boss. I should have just cleaned my room. So you see how cool I sound now, right? No, you don't. It's cringe. Stop it. Excuse me? You're low key and up. Oh, you did not just call me that. Dad, five seconds of quiet is all I ask. Are you guys fighting again? <laughs> I wish. So why are you guys calling me in here? He's just being an op because my new slang is goals. All right, I'm calling the pastor because she's clearly possessed. Simon! I asked for so little. What do you want? I told you to do the dishes an hour ago. Why aren't they done? I was busy with homework. I was gonna do- So you're just making up excuses now. How is that an excuse to- No, I don't want to hear it. I have obviously failed as a mother. Nah, come back. Excuse me? How does me not doing the dishes mean that you failed as a mother? Well, maybe if you washed the dishes, I wouldn't have to feel like this. I already do a bunch of other chores. You can't say that. So not only are you not going to do the dishes, but you're yelling at your mother as well. No. Oh my God. You know crying's not going to work with me, right? Son of a nutcracker. Stop trying to guilt trip me by saying you failed as a mother. Well, I wouldn't have to say that if you didn't fail as a son. That's really messed up. I'm getting your father, honey. I'm in Spain without the S. What do you want? Our son is being a failure. Apparently all because I didn't do the dishes. Exactly. Failure. Okay, our son gets straight A, stays away from drugs, and just got into graduate school. How is he a failure? Because he- Well, you're a- Simon! I can't wait to move out. What do you want? You haven't helped out around the house at all today. Why? Because I have homework. I have a big project that's due at- I don't care about that. You need to slay them chores. No, 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 no. We can't be doing this again. Excuse me? Do you have a problem with me sounding bougie? No, I have a problem with you sounding dumb. You need to watch how you talk to me. It's giving lazy son. That was actually horrible. So you'll do your chores now that I'm speaking like you, right? No, you sound uneducated. Stop it. Simon, if you talk to me like that again, I'm taking away your phone on my mama. On grandma? Period. This is unacceptable. Dad, do I need to call the pastor again? Our son is being salty and clapping back at his mom, fam. Yeah, we're gonna need the Pope for this one. Simon! I didn't know it was National Yell at Simon Day. What do you want? I need you to clean this room right now. We have guests coming over. My room is already clean. What are you talking about? Oh, really? Then how do you explain this mess? What mess? There's no mess here. I'm clean. So you didn't see this pen I found on the floor? A pen on the floor. You're yelling at me for a pen on the floor? Yes, it's lazy and also dangerous. How? How could that be dangerous? If someone steps on that pen, it could roll over and they could fall and die. I don't think that's how pens work. So you're okay with letting people know you live in a war zone then? It's a pen. It's not a tactical nuke. Like, how far are you willing to go with this? You know what? I'm gonna get your father. Honey. What did I do to deserve this torture? Our son had this lying around in his room. Is that a pen? It's a dangerous weapon is what it is. Okay, you have two knives, pepper spray, and a shotgun in case World War III breaks out, but you're worried about a pen? But that- but you-
Simon, I heard a crash. What happened? Oh, mom, I fell down the stairs and I think I broke my arm. You broke your arm? Yeah, I need to go to the hospital. Come on, let's get in the car. A broken arm? You don't need that. You'll be fine. What the? How is that fine? Back in my day, I had it a lot worse. Did you break your arm back in your day? No, I broke both of my arms at the same time. But do you want to know what I did? Go to the hospital like a normal person? No, I kept my mouth shut and I just carried on with my life like an adult. Is that the reason why you can't lift your arms past your shoulders? My point is you need to grow up and learn to deal with it. Bah! This is serious! Well, are you dying or anything? Okay, I'm getting dead. Dad, why does everyone in this house yell... So, oh my god, Simon, what happened? He just fell down the stairs and broke his arm. Oh my god, we gotta get into a hospital. Simon, get in the car. He doesn't need that. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? If we don't do anything, they'll cut his arm off. <laughs> Simon, let's go. I'm taking you to a hospital. You're not taking him anywhere. We have health care. It's fine. But he... <laughs> Simon! I heard you got a test back today. Uh, yeah, I did, and I think you'll be really happy with the score. Let me see... Wow, you got a 100! Yeah, I did. Well, I'm very impressed. This calls for celebra- Why is the extra credit blank? Oh, I didn't feel like doing it, but it's fine, because I got a 100. So you think extra credit's useless, huh? No, I, I just didn't want to do it. But you could have gotten a higher grade if you did. The extra credit was like two points. But you didn't even try. You just did the bare minimum. How is a 100 the bare minimum? How? I'm getting your father, honey. If I hear honey one more time, I'm moving to Europe. What do you want? Our son got a hundred on his last test. You got a hundred on your last test? Good job. But he didn't do the extra credit. I don't care about that. A hundred's a hundred. What else could you want? Oh, and I also scored the highest in the class. You gotta leave him alone. But he- Simon! You get some type of joy out of yelling at me? We need to talk about your report card. Oh yeah, I got all A's. I know. Oh really? Then why does it say here in one class that you got an A minus? Are we really doing this today? Yes! How could you get an A minus in a class? Still counts as an A! There's an A right there! Oh please, when I was in school, an A minus was basically an F. How are you gonna get into a good school with grades like this? I'm already in college and I'm about to graduate. What are you talking about? I can't deal with this. I'm gonna call your teacher and I'm gonna apologize for this because this is embarrassing. Ring, ring, oh, ring, ring, God. ring. Hello? Hello, professor. This is Simon's mom. Trust me, I know. I just want to apologize for my son's low grade in your class. But why? You should be proud. He scored the highest in my class. Huh? Yeah, no one ever gets an A in physics, so... Can I call you back? So how'd that go? You're a genius. Oh, I know. Simon! Why is she so loud, bro? What do you want? Get up and go do the dishes. I just did the dishes earlier today. Why do you want me to do them again? Because I said so. That's why. What? That's not a reason. And you gotta go do your laundry. Mom, my clothes are clean. Why? Because I said so. I swear to God, I can't do this anymore. And we have guests coming over, so you need to change your clothes. Let me guess. Because you said so? Because I said so. Okay, let's just get this straight. Because I said so is not a reason to get your child to do stuff. Did you just use logic against me? I... Yes! Oh, you wanna be smart then? Come here! Bro, stop! stop. Um, did you change the locker password? Clean your closet first. I already did clean my closet. What? You cleaned your closet without me having to ask? Yeah. Wow, that's great. I think you should do that more often. Yeah, what's the weapon password? Clean your closet first. All overcase, no spaces. Mom, you're really gonna make me clean the closet for nothing? The next day. Mom, I wanna play Fortnite, but the weapon password's not working. Did you change it? Clean your room first. Okay. A few minutes later. What are you doing? Playing Fortnite. What? Yeah. I knew the Wi-Fi password was clean your room first. I'm not gonna fall for that one again, Mom. It's time to turn the iPad off, please. Aww. Right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bud, it's time. No! I've given you plenty of warning. Let's shut it down. I don't want to. I'm gonna count to three. Okay, it's off! Thank you. Okay, it's time. Let's turn the iPad off now, please. Shut it down. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. You are not listening. You're not listening. What's your problem? I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in grade three and I'm smarter than her too. Let's go and see what the principal has to say. Okay. I'll give him a test and if he fails just one question, he has to go back to class and be quiet. Okay. 
What's three times three? Nine. What's six times six? 36. I see no reason why he can't go to the third grade. He answered my questions correctly. Can I ask him some questions? Of course. What does a cow have four of that I only have two of? Legs. What do you have in your pants that I don't have? Pockets. What does a dog do that a man steps into? Pants. What starts with F and ends with K? Fire truck. Put him in the fifth grade. I got the last four questions wrong myself. What's the problem? Math problems. Oh, I can help you. Let me see. All right. Um, here's the easy one. What's six times three? Six times three. I don't know. Six times three. I don't. Six times three. I legit don't know. Six three. I don't know. What is it? What is it? Get your mom. Why? Teresa! What's the problem? Homework. What's six times three? I don't know. Six times three. I don't know. What's six plus six? Oh, 12. Now add six. I don't know. What is it? What is it? Get your math teacher. Who? Mr. Patrick. Boom. What? Homework. I taught you this. What's six times three? I don't know. Look, if Johnny had six times three amounts of this soap, how much this soap would he have? How much? How much? Go clean your room. It's my room, I get to do whatever I want. Well, this is my house, and your room is in my house. Well then, clean your house. Skip the button, da da ba 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 ba